My name is Bumi Toko and you're welcome to the School of Social Sustainability. Today, we're going to learn the following. We're going to learn what a quotation is, we're going to learn what an invoice is, and we're going to learn what a receipt is. These are important business tools that anybody who is in business must know how to create one or whether they receive the right one or not. And they also need to know what to ask for. If you're dealing with somebody in business, you got to know when to ask for a quotation. You need to know when to ask for an invoice. And of course, you need to know when to ask for a receipt. And you got to know what this look like. What is a quotation? Let's start with that. A quotation or quote is a document that a supplier submits to a potential client with a proposed price for the supplier's goods or services. Meaning that if you wanted to receive the delivery or if you want to receive service from, from someone, you can tell them, hey, do you mind giving me a quote and let me have a look at it so I can pass it around to departments so that we can all sit around it and discuss it. Then that person will send you a quote that has the information required. What kind of information? We're going to take a look right now as we go to see an example of what a quotation looks like. Here we are. This is a quotation. This is what it should look like. Okay, let's take a look at the parts. First, if you are the one giving the quotation, or if you're receiving a quotation, you should at least know the, have the logo or name of the company at the top and their logo, or just their logo. Then it should have in bold letters, quotation, so that we all know what it is. Then it should have a date, the quotation is given. It may have invoice number, but it doesn't have to. But if there is an expiration date, it should have it because some quotations only last for seven days or they could give you a quote. They say, oh, this quotation will only hold or we're only going to hold this quotation for 30 days or we're only going to hold this quotation for three days, whatever. If there's a limit on the duration, then it should be included right here in this document. Then it should have your company name your address, your name, name of the person. In here is where they would put the list or description or and description of the services that has been provided. So let's say they're delivering a workshop. They'll write one workshop on whatever the subject is. The unit cost, if they're delivering over three days, okay, then they'll multiply it by three and they would come here to put the total. And then you also put that total down here unless of course you are listing various workshops that is being delivered and you will total those costs until you get here now notice this very important the name of the organization issuing the quotation must be on this document their number their address and all those kind of good information that we like and you could actually say this look at what it says it says to accept this quote sign here and return yeah you could put that in there if you're issuing a quote or you make sure you respond so that you can keep this quotation for this particular situation as opposed to allowing it to expire so once you've signed it it means that you've signed the quotation on that day at this price to receive this goods or services so that is a quotation in a nutshell. That's what it should look like. That's what it should be like. And remember, I'm going to show you how you can create yours in Canva. Ha, huh. we're still to come. Let's go on to the next document, an invoice. What is an invoice? See you in a moment. Welcome back. So what is an invoice? An invoice is important because you need an invoice to receive money. If you want to get paid, you've got to know how to write and create invoices because they are an important document for you. Okay, here is what an invoice is. An invoice is a document that lists the products and services a business provides or has provided to a client and establishes an obligation on the part of the client to pay the business for those products and services. 
in a nutshell, an invoice is the document you need to prepare for your client so that you can get paid. Most businesses will not release money from their accounting department until you give them an invoice. Even smaller companies, one-man companies, whatever it is, because they need to keep an account of what they're doing for tax purposes, they require you to give an invoice. So you got to know how to prepare one if you don't know how to do it. Let's take a look at an example of what an invoice looks like. This is an invoice. ABC Limited is the name of the organization. So that could be your organization. You might have your logo there as well. And then it needs to have who the invoice is made out to. Plus, very important, it's got to have an invoice number. And please do not start your invoices at 001, even if that's the first invoice you're issuing. You can always start an invoice at 00214 or 2001 or 9001, whatever it is. Because starting at 001 for your first client shows that you are just starting in business. Mm, people like to take advantage of those just starting. So don't do that. Just write it differently because that's legal. Okay. Now, here you go. Then you'll have a date that the invoice is written for. Over here, you will have it in bold letters, invoice. Then you will have a description depending on what you have delivered or are delivering. If it's in quantities, if it's a unit price, then the total amount. You do the same for a next uh, project or service you're delivering. Then you come down and put in the total. Now, to crown it up, you've got to have your bank account so that they can send you money. Then you have the date in which the invoice must be paid. Generally speaking, I will put there due now. But, you know, you can do it a, diff a, a different way by having a date in which the invoice must be paid. I would prefer to say due now. Make sure your bank details are correct. There's nothing so annoying as seeing an invoice has a wrong bank details on it and nobody can send you money. So take a look again. It's got your name at the top. The person is going to or the organization is going to. The word invoice, descriptions, amounts. Here we go. Your bank detail and the date it's due. That is an invoice. See you in a moment when we look at what a receipt is. A receipt is a piece of paper or electronic document confirming that the seller received money from the purchaser. The seller received money from the purchaser. In other words, when I am delivering a service, I issue you an invoice, right? You pay the money to my bank account. I like that. You pay the money to my bank account. Then I issue you a receipt saying that I have received money from you to deliver a particular service or purchase particular goods. That is a receipt that shows that you have paid. Okay, right. Let's take a look at an example of what a receipt looks like. Hi there, this is a receipt. Now, the receipt should have your business name, your logo at the top. Then it should have the words receipt written in big letters. Then the person who you are sending the receipt to, right? That should be there. Then the receipt number should be there. Their email, their address, you know, could be there. Then you will enter your name your business name if it's if you wanted to you could put it here then you give a description of the items that you've been paid for then you write total payment received with thanks and put the amount there so simple it's so simple make sure you put a receipt number that you can reconcile to your payment if you give them a reference make sure the re payment reference is written there you, you can put a reference here as well if you wanted to if you put your name at the bottom you don't have to put it here so you can design a receipt how you like but it's got to have the essentials it's got to have your name and logo the word receipt should be written in bold the name of the person you're sending it to should be there receipt number their details 
and the description of the product that they paid for and of course the total amount they paid for and it's nice to always say thanks for paying us some money that's a receipt so we've covered what a quotation looks like what okay let's take a quick look this is what a quotation looks like remember we've been through this one and this is what an invoice looks like right and this is what a receipt should look like now let's skip over to canva and go take a look at how we can create one ourselves i'm in my canva account and if you type in the word invoice yeah i know i know just wait <laughs> type in the word invoice because canva at the time of recording this doesn't have quotations and doesn't have a receipt so i want to show you how to do it just type in invoice pick any invoice you like let's pick okay let's okay let's see let's choose um this one for example okay so we choose this we go over there and we say wow you know what what i want to do actually i want to create a quotation first thing you make copies of it then you go back to the first page so instead of invoice guess what you do you just type in quotation and you can really just expand that and any information that is not relevant to a quotation you just remove it right so that's relevant to a quotation let's expand that a little bit that's the price so maybe let's say this is not we'll throw that out move that up there and let's say this is not essential throw it out let's say this wasn't relevant we we'll also throw it out but then we come down here we make a quote it's 600 pounds because i mean pounds and if you forgot what a quote looks like you go back and take a reference and just put in the information that's a quotation if you are the one giving a quote okay if you're giving an invoice it's already done for you now if you are issuing a receipt you just come over here you change it to receipt and you change the receipt number that could be your receipt number right there you put a receipt number now nah, mm -mm, yeah and what they've paid for items paid for boom that's it done done that's the receipt then you come down here you don't have to put your account number so you remove that uh yeah that that's relevant that's who it's going to okay bill two or or receipt two receipt two yeah that's it okay that's that then you can write here you can write somewhere here or you can maybe make a copy of that and then i'll paste it okay so here i'm gonna write received received with thanks I'm going to make that bigger. Let's go over here, make it bigger. And any information that is not there, go back, take a look at how we did looked at a receipt earlier on and um, put that information here. That's it. You can use Canva to create all three documents. Wow. We've learned how to create a quotation in Canva. We've learned how to create a invoice in canva we've also learned how to create a receipt in canva and we've learned what a quotation looks like and what an invoice looks like and what a receipt looks like now we can create it ourselves if we have to thank you so much for joining us today this is so exciting to show you these business tools that you can use to enhance your business and look good all right i'll see you soon this is boomy Toko saying thank you so much and god bless if you're watching this on YouTube, do subscribe to our channel and like the video as well. And if you are watching this on Facebook, do like our page and also like the video as well. Speak to you soon. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking.